What's the worst job you've ever had? Got offered a job as a mechanic, and spent the entire time bullied by everyone, so I decided to send all of the illegal stuff going down there to the government. When I was fresh out of high school, my sister's boyfriend offered me a job as a mechanic at a local dealership. The job was an apprenticeship and was at one of the worst dealerships I've ever had the displeasure of working at. I could tell you dozens of stories about being an apprentice that would discourage anyone from taking up the position however I feel like my experience can be summed up in three examples of mistreatment. A fourth-year apprentice was taking a gearbox out of a small car, probably weighs like 30 kg 60 pounds, he told me to catch the gearbox as it came out of the car while he undid the last bolt. I told him I wasn't comfortably catching a falling heavy sharp unpredictable mass and he told me he would get me sacked if I didn't do what I was told. A fool could have seen it coming, the gearbox fell, I was unable to catch it and then the casing broke on the ground as it landed. The foreman came by and blamed me for the incident. My wages were docked to pay for the gearbox housing. I was later humiliated by another apprentice who filmed the event on his camera phone and showed the rest of the workshop me failing to catch the falling mass of metal. In another incident I was asked to retrieve two tires from the cage, a literal lockable chicken wire cage about 10 square meters large and 4 meters high that was assembled out the back of the workshop to house our tires, to fit to a vehicle. To collect the tires I needed to climb a ladder to get them from a top rack. As I was up there I heard the gate close and lock and one of the mechanics had locked me in the cage as part of a hazing ritual. It was about 35 degrees, 100 F, that day and I was locked in there for 2 hours. Whenever a mechanic came past and saw that I was in the cage they would take a nearby fire hose and try to hose me down in there. By the time I got out of the cage I had such bad sunburn I couldn't come into work the next day because I was still vomiting from the heat stroke. My boss did not approve the time off and I was given leave without pay. For the final story there was an incident where we recovered a bumper, fender, from a 4WD after we attached a bull bar in its place. We used to save these bumpers in case we ever dented one so we had spares essentially. I was asked to place a bumper on two hooks and then climb a ladder to the top of the workshop and hang the bumper on the rafters at the top of the workshop for storage. I don't know if you have ever tried to climb a ladder with no hands and holding a large somewhat heavy and awkward load that can under no circumstances get scratched or dented but I assure you it's difficult. As I was climbing the ladder it started slipping on the greasy workshop floor and eventually collapsed under me causing me to fall 4 meters 15 feet dropping the bumper, injuring my hand and resulting in me once again being humiliated by a mechanic who was filming the ordeal. I was told that it was my fault that I fell off the ladder because I wasn't doing it right and the unsafe work practice was not updated. I should note I had asked another apprentice to hold the bottom of the ladder and they had neglected to do so. Suffice to say I was sick of how this company operated so I spent the next two weeks taking photos of unsafe work practices. I took photos of lots of things including people using a grinder with no guards, no goggles, no gloves people smoking next to open fuel sources, an apprentice locked in a grease pit, another hazing ritual and yes I opened it after taking the photo two apprentices moving a heavy piece of shop machinery into storage by pushing it up a flimsy wooden ramp apprentices working at heights without railing shasta materials that were stored. Well. Anywhere. Not locked up high you get the idea I sent the photos along with some accounts of my personal experiences and anecdotal evidence of other unsafe practices I had personally experienced to work safe a government body that finds workplaces for unsafe practices and ensures they clean their act up. The company I worked for received over 100k in fines and had to spend probably another 25k in repairs to bring their workshop up to spec. The local mechanics union became involved too and caused problems around the treatment of apprentices and safe work practices in general.